Wraith Ward says, uh, I'm not one of those people who thinks that emulating Matt Mercer is the secret to success, but I still feel pressured to put on vast production value for a game, or I'm doing it wrong. Irrational, yes, but there is no changing that the current era of TTRPGs is one steeped deep in the frills of fancy battle maps, lighting, special effects, ambient audio, and so forth. I would love to provide those extra layers for my players, but as another visually impaired DM, I know this came to you recently, those steps just aren't feasible, and I struggle to get past that. The reception of Baldur's Gate 3 has only increased my insecurities. Watching people who never got it or don't didn't care suddenly latch onto D&D because the experience was finally presented them in a fully visual package. I definitely think you're overweighting the value of those production value things. I really, in my both in my personal experiences, in r- talking with lots of other GMs about this, in s- studying and seeing and diving deep in this whole world of tabletop RPGs for basically the last 10 years, my primary activity, like the last 10 years, I can tell you that that stuff is over. You're overweighting. You're overweighting that stuff. Players want to watch their characters do fun things. They want to watch their characters in the story do fun things. They and that, that might be mechanical things that they do. It might be story fa- focused things that they do. I have a significant investment in Dwarven Forge tabletop setups that I use. And I can tell you the amount of extra value that that brings is maybe 10% to a game. I've, I've actually done some, a little bit of surveying on this and it comes to not only is it 10%, but a bad game with Dwarven Forge is still a terrible game. And a good game with Dwarven Forge is a good game. A good game without Dwarven Forge is also a good game. Good use of Dwarven Forge terrain. And, and I'm picking on that in particular because that is, it's got lots of 3d effects. It's got lots of different stuff. Maybe accounts for like a 10% improvement in the overall game. Maybe on a good day, if you really build the story around the environment, you use it a lot, maybe 20%, but it's not the main thing. And there's so much you can do. There's so many ways to make your game great that don't involve anything like that. And that is really diving into the characters spend your time thinking about the characters who are they what do they want what do the players enjoy what do they want to bring to the game what do they want to see their characters do what kind of monsters do they like to fight what kind of abilities do they have that they want to really see do neat things what kind of treasure do they acquire how can you tie into their backstory how can you tap in how can you make the story a f- tied closer to their character and where they came from how can you build those connections all of these things have nothing to do with the AV description of it. I I think that you are even overweighting it when you say uh, there's no changing that the current era of TTRPGs is one steeped deep in the frills of fancy battle maps, lighting, special effects, ambient audio, and so forth. I don't think that's true. There are some platforms that do that. Foundry has a lot of that kind of stuff into it. Roll20 has some of it. But there are many people who use all different kinds of things. A lot of times with like music, I, I just grab a phone and I'm like, I guess I'll play my, my, my instrumental playlist that's just got a bunch of video game soundtracks on it. I don't spend a lot of time on it. There are so many other things that we can do to make our game great that are going to have a far bigger individual enjoyment for each player that don't involve any of these special effects things now you say it's an irrational feeling so you know that this isn't exactly where it's going but i think it's really important to remember and to me what i would do and what i have done is when i feel that way of like oh man i didn't set up this thing is instead i always go back to like who are the characters and what can i do that's going to be cool for them if during your prep in the beginning of the prep you said write down all of the character names who are all the characters and then spend a little bit of time thinking about their background and a little bit of time thinking about the mechanics of their character and say what can i do for their character in this next session what either can is there a fun thing i could do from a combat perspective is there fun challenges that i can give them you know what are the things i can do and it could be something as simple as they got a cloak of protection that protects them from cold how can i have them get hit by cold damage so that they can enjoy the fact that they resisted cold stuff like that i don't know how else to help except to really reinforce that all of the gigas and doodads and widgets and special effects and music and lighting and production value stuff does not matter nearly as much as building an environment so that your players are going to have an awesome time in the story of your game that is really where it is. The production value is just not that big a deal. 